No, let me tell you what happened last night, though. Should you think? Hi, my name is Chelsea, and today we're going to do a rant vlog. Why? Because I have a lot to rant about right now. So, let's start with the last three weeks, shall we? Um, my in-laws came while my husband's grandparents came, and shit flew starting the day after Christmas. On top of it, my brother-in-law and I, and let, let me just clarify something. He just turned 20, got his first car, first... Uh, he got his license this year. He got hit, well, 2016. He got his license. He got a car. He got a job in September. He's on his own, finally, for being 20. Well, he still was with us, but still. Um, he and I, and I'm 28, so I'm almost 30, as I like to continuously get reminded. Um, so... We were driving, and some asshole... I decided that he wanted to try and race us. My brother-in-law is not stupid. I was in the car, so, you know, it was pretty much a no-brainer with, hmm, do I want to race this guy and, you know, get a ticket or get in trouble because he does have a V6, so he's going to beat this other car regardless. Long story short, this guy almost hit us, and then he started stalking us. All we wanted to do was go and get some frickin' pancakes at IHOP. That's it. No other. I mean, there was nothing else we wanted to do. IHOP just sounded really good. Pancakes at 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night sounded good. Okay? So, and my husband knew that we were going out. So, we, we went, and we got stalked, and we got almost hit by the same guy. My brother-in-law, not being the, social, the most sociable, but he is a smart guy. He has a, a long past, and, well, let, let's just say it's a good thing that, you know, he came to be with us two years ago. Um, but anyways, getting off topic here. So, you know, being the responsible guy that, that my brother-in-law can be, he wanted to report it. He was scared. I was scared. This guy was stalking us. He, I went inside to go and make uh, reservations, and I was going to tell the guy that was going to seat us that, you know, hey, there's this car out there, and we need a seat by the window so we can watch and make sure he's not going to do anything to my brother-in-law's car. Well, I get a phone call from my brother-in-law going, you got to come back out. We got to go. Let's go. It looked like the guy who was chasing us had a freaking gun. Yeah, a freaking gun. Yeah, because guns are just so great. You know, I, I, yes, you should be able to have them. I'm not, have them. But being able to carry them all the time, that's a little ridiculous. If anything, put a time on it. Put a time on it. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. or something like that. I mean, if you're allowed to carry a gun everywhere and you're going to a bar, come on, drunk plus gun equals, hmm, bad, disaster, hellfire, yeah, anyways, so there's that, um, we did the responsible thing and told my husband, though, hey, don't worry about it, we got this covered, cops are gonna call back, you know, we went to the police station and everything, he flipped out, after, <laughs> Not even 12 freaking hours, he goes and he tattles and snitches to his grandmother, who is like the head of the family, as she likes to claim. Um, and then let's just say that we got our asses handed to us. And after thinking about it, I will admit, I should have been, being the older adult, I should have not had my teenage self kick in and be the supportive friend that went with him to the police station to report this, but, sorry, I'm making food while I'm doing this, um, but, you know, I should have told him, hey, let me go get your brother, he should go with you, you know, because that was the whole thing, I'm the sister-in-law. I shouldn't be going out with my brother-in-law, who happens to be one of my best friends. 
you know, I mean, I've known him for 10 years. I've known my husband for 10 years, and we've been together almost, well, practically 10 years anyways. So, you know, I got my ass handed to me. But I admit, I, I should have been like, dude, you should really... Let me go get your brother, explain what happened. You know, he should go with you if you really feel like you need to go and talk to police. Police ended up not doing anything. Just saying, we got the license plate and everything. And a brief description of the car because it, he literally, the guy that was driving purposely parked underneath a shaded tree where you can't tell anything about his car. But like a little bit, I know his hatchback, I know what the license plate number was, but that's it. And I know the guy was creepy, and he looked like he had a gun. So, so we went ahead and took, did that, got our asses handed to us, <sighs> and just, oh, let's see, oh, that was actually the day after Christmas, that's right. Because earlier that morning, his grandmother chewed my husband and I out about how my almost 18-month-old daughter is not walking 100% by herself. Funny thing, though, is we've been working with her more, and she went from a 3 to nearly a 5 already, and it's only been a couple weeks. I made the appointment, and here's where the next rant comes before I tell you what happened last night. Oh, no, let me tell you what happened last night, though. Shittiest thing. Everybody's going, oh, I hate 2006. I hate 2006. Nah, 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 nah. All over the social media. Almost everybody hates 2016. Agreed. A lot of it I did not like. Only real perk was that my daughter turned one. So. Hang on. I don't remember where I put that. God damn it. That's the second one I have misplaced. Um. Awesome. Um, but anyways, so, oh no, it's over there, okay. Um, so, last night, we were hanging at the wireless center, so we were practically home, just down and over, and of, I live in a complex, so it's like we went down the stairs and over to the wireless center with free Wi-Fi and all that, and fast Wi-Fi. So we were like, okay, we can do this. Sat there and we hung out a couple hours and I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of getting hungry. He's like, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm getting hungry too, my brother-in-law. So I text my husband, hey, I'm starting to get hungry. I got a coupon for a free cone at McDonald's. Do you want anything? Because it's a purchase. You have to purchase something and then you get a free cone. And at first he said, no, that's okay. And then he said, wait. I said, okay, what do you want? He said, either a strawberry shake or a Reese's McFlurry. I still have the text to prove it. And it was a quarter to nine. And then an hour later, I texted him and said, hey, we're on our way to go get McDonald's. You know, I we were watching, we literally were watching videos the entire time. So, you know, and I got the history to prove it. So we went and we went to go, got McDonald's. And then my brother-in-law was like, hey, I need to check something out over at... Sorry, I'm watching my kid who just learned how to climb up a couch. And uh, it's like, okay. I, he's like, I, I, got, I need to go check something out over at, the, over at Walmart. Well, when we got into the car after we were done at Walmart, which was like very, very quick, like five minutes. Um, he goes, oh man, as he's trying to turn the engine over, he's like, Okay, I had this problem earlier, but, you know, I'm not worried about it. It's like, okay, because it ended up turning over. Okay, no problem. Well, as we're exiting the parking lot, it starts making a funny noise. So we went across the street over where Target and Ross and everything was, and then over in uh, Ross, and sure enough, the car died. 11 o'clock at night, nobody's happy with the phone call saying, hey, can come get me because my car is dead. Well, everybody's broke, and, you know, so long story short, um, family took care of my brother-in-law's problem. His car, he's going to end up doing twice as much to get his life back in order 
as my husband liked to say, the come to Jesus moment, even though neither of us are religious or believe in that. Hey, <clears throat> excuse me. So I was like, okay, spent an hour and a half almost trying to see if there was a 24 hour tow to get him at least over here, at least to the next pet boys or something. Got home about somewhere between 12 and 12.30 last night. Got our asses chewed again. Grandparents don't know about it yet. And then today, which is the real reason that I decided, hey, I need to rant. Um, let's see, 18 and a half minutes left. It's showing me before it's going to go bye-bye. And so, okay. Um, so, I called... My pediatrician and said, you know, she's 17 months old. I was supposed to call last month, but with holidays, it just got, you know, fast and crazy. So they were like, okay, no problem. Next day came back with, okay, you should go here. So I called and made an appointment. They said, okay, well, the earliest I can get you is on this day, which is next week. And I called like two weeks ago. I even asked, hey, if I had called a month before, would it make a difference? And they said, no, they've been full. Okay, well, come to find out as they call to let me know what my insurance is going to cover and not cover, mostly not cover. Um, come to find out they're a hospital. I didn't know that. I thought it was like a little sister company, you know, thinking, okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> so I was like, okay. They called and they said, okay, well, let's go over the amount and everything. They said it's going to be 200 some dollars for a copay just so she can get evaluated. Okay, well, I can always figure something out. We have family that's always more than happy to help family out. Okay, no problem there. And then it's also going to be $508 and change per session let me say that again per session five hundred dollars i straight up said to her no joke i straight up said you know what i'm not a millionaire i'm not going to no i i'm not I'm, i canceled the appointment she understood. She said, call your pediatrician back and say, you know, are there any free standing clinics that can help you? Sure enough, this kid is walking pretty good, almost on practically on her own. She's already climbing up the freaking couch. She just climbed up the couch to sit down and watch uh, Despicable Me again. So, yeah. That's my long, long rant. That is why I hopped on here. Um, because I needed to vent yeah so thank you for watching if you like rant vlogs or videos whatever you want to call it uh go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more i do have a couple more videos where i sit there and rant um or rather stand here and rant and uh yeah i will see you guys in my next video which will be very very shortly because i'm a little bit behind but i have a lot of ideas and yeah. Anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below if you've had a rough beginning to 2017. Woo! All right, bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.